In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the tools that I use to optimize and increase the likeliness of ranking my articles number one in Google, and you can do the same. So the main tools in which I use are Neuron Writer. This is a content optimization tool and WriterZen. Now, Neuron Writer is really good because you can simply enter the topic in which you would like to write about or the keyword in which you're trying to write about. And as you can see here, you will then be able to get a content optimization score based upon um, that content. So you will get recommendations that you need to follow, uh, keywords that you need to include within your article, within your H1s and your H2s to be able to um, optimize and rank for that specific keyword. So in this example, how mortgages work in Toronto, we can see that that is the main keyword. And under article, we can see basic keywords in which we need to include within that article, extended keywords, and so forth. We can also take a look at the headings, and this is going to tell us keywords that we need to include within the H1. So because of course you're writing about how mortgages work in Toronto, that would be need to be that would need to be included within the H1 tag, and variations of that keyword need to be within the H2 and so forth. So once we follow the recommendations, then we would be able to get a content optimization score out of 100. The higher the number, the more optimized the content is. Neuron Writer is definitely my number one option when it comes to content optimization tools. Reason is, is that they do have a lifetime deal, I believe, on AppSumo. So you pay one time and you get access to this tool forever. So unfortunately, there isn't a lifetime deal. So sorry about that. But you can go over to their website and you can get a plan for Neuron Writer. Um, if you don't already have a plan, you can sit around and wait because I'm sure they're going to bring back the one time deal uh, very, very soon. The other tool in which I like is called Writers End. Now, Writers End used to have a lifetime deal as well, but they are also sold out on that lifetime deal. But this is what Writers End looks like on the inside of the tool. I like Writers End because it's a little bit different from Neuron Writer. While Neuron Writer is strictly a content optimization tool, Writers End allows you to do topic discovery do keyword research, keyword planning, and also they have a built-in plagiarism checker. So for example, if I wanted to discover a new topic, I could actually use the topic discovery tool, enter a topic such as mortgages. And this will give me related keywords to that specific um, keyword. So I'll be able to get topic clusters and different keywords that I may not have thought of originally when using a tool like this. So for example, this is the results that we go back for mortgages. We can see that mortgages um, is the main topic where we get some related topics here um, where we can see ideas for small mortgages, credit unions, and so on. Ownership, loans, Canada, we get some, um, we get some content related to different um, regions there, rates, different mortgage rates, buying, selling, refinancing, and so on. So we can see different topics here and we can explore those topics. So for example, reverse mortgages, and this can give us a good idea of how much search volume this keyword has. So for example, if we're in the mortgage niche, we see that reverse mortgages gets over 33,000 clicks per month. So what we can do is we can then go ahead and write on all these various topics here. What is reverse mortgages, reverse mortgages guides, so on and so forth. So this is really, really good examples of content in which we can write that we may not have thought of. So that is the topic discovery tool. There's also the keyword research tool. And this is sort of like uh, a typical keyword research tool where you'd enter your keyword and then you do your research. Now, I personally don't really like the keyword research tool included in Writers End. I recommend using Ahrefs, SEMrush, or any other keyword research tool that's more reputable. But again, if you just want to pay one time and have a tool that does it all, this is not a bad option for you. So once you have your keyword set up, then you can actually use the content optimization tool. And this is very, very similar to New End Writer, but they kind of take you through steps um, in a different way. So for example, the first thing that you need to do once you enter your keyword, for this example, mortgage abil ability calculator, first you're gonna do is a competitive analysis. So we're going to um, sort of choose which outlines or which websites we want to include within our outline. Because of course, if these websites are ranking number one in Google, then that is a good sign that we need to follow, not copy, but follow um, what they're doing to help us rank higher as well. So we can select or deselect any of our competitors. Then we can select and deselect the keywords in which we like to include within our articles. So again, this is going to give us a competitive breakdown of our keywords to consider. Opportunity keywords, again, we can add that in there. Or suggestions by writers in, and we can add in all of those keywords. So it's a more manual approach that we get when we're using writers in, and we can really sort of tailor our content to the article in which we're writing. So once you head over to content writing, this is now where you can start doing your analysis. You can enter the 
article in which you wrote and a pretty cool feature included, I believe in Writer's End, is the ability to actually write the full article so they can write the article for you. But again, I would recommend writing the article separate using a tool like um, Claude or ChatGPT or GPT-40. So once you enter your information, then you will get an overall score. You get the word count, headings, paragraphs, and images. And once you write the content and you enter it into the tool, you will get an overall score based upon the words, headings, paragraphs, images, and so forth. And you can see some analysis of what you need to do to increase the content optimization score of this specific article. So that in a nutshell is how to use a new end writer and how to use writer Zen. A step in which I want to show you guys that you can do even before you write your article is that you can actually go ahead. Let's say you're using new and writer, and this is the topic which you're writing about. Before we write our actual content, we can copy over all of the visible terms. Right. So copy over all of the terms. And when we're writing our content, let's say we're using Claude to write our content, we will tell Claude to include these keywords within the article when writing. I've already done a couple of videos on this method, so I will link those videos in the description below today's video. But essentially what it does is it allows the AI to have an idea of what keywords need to be included, what titles need to be included within the article before it writes it. So then once it writes it, it's already including that information. So your optimization scores are already going to be high right off the bat. And then you can just go ahead and do some manual optimizations um, using New End Writer or Router Zen. So that is a little bit of a, a way in which you can expect the process of writing optimized content. And once you follow that method, then you can be confident that your content is optimized and it will actually rank on Google. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You can check out all of my favorite content optimization tools in the description below today's video. If I come across a new one, I will add it in the description below. So make sure to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.